Hello Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's going on for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So the overall energy is the Three of Wands. Something is on the horizon coming in mid-August. Ooh, you have the Two of Cups. They have the Four of Wands. So whoever this is, this person wants to... Oh, you're even under the deck. Someone's watching you, Pisces. Oh yeah, someone may see you as a wish fulfilled. Look what's under the deck here. Somebody has something to tell you. So this is coming in here in the next couple of weeks or so. Let's see, what's the Three of Wands? We have Eight of Cups walking away, the King of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so it could be a fire sign. There's definitely messages or communication with the Eight of Wands coming towards you. Oh, you seem happy. So this is someone you've been worrying about or thinking about, but this could happen, I mean, again, very suddenly with the Knight of Swords. You've been focused on this person or situation. You've been manifesting this person back to you or to you. It could be someone new or someone old, either way. It could be someone you have a secret crush on or they have a secret crush on you because they have the three of coins and the seven of swords here. But this person has been stuck on your mind or they've been, you've been stuck on their mind a lot. What is the four of wands for them? Okay, so this is showing me an earth sign. So something did not work for this person, work out, but it was like in the best, um, like it was meant not to happen. It was meant, or this could also be moving though, tower and four of wands. So maybe this person is moving closer to you. Maybe you're going to hear news about that. Now, I don't know if there's two people here, if there's like an old person and a new person for you, but uh, we also have Aquarius, Scorpio energy. Okay, why is this all happening? Temperance. Okay, so you had to kind of wait. Let's see. Wow. So it's showing in this deck also. It's, it feels like somebody really wants to win your heart. Something may have not worked out for this king of coin. Now, it could be work or job or somewhere they moved and they're not happy there and they want to come back toward you. So you're getting messages. So this, this could be like a, a relationship where the two of you aren't together, but it's because of circumstances, not necessarily a third party or anything, but it could be that they have to work in another country or they had to go you know, take care of something in the family. Someone got sick. But I'm seeing here this person is coming back. So now you might be with someone else already. And this is this is a third person. But it looks like the person, this is the one you really want with the sun here. I feel like you're going to get quite a, quite a few messages or communication. And it could, again, it could be very suddenly. You know, you could be online and also it just kind of pops up. But let me see. How do you feel about this person or situation, Pisces? Okay, you feel like this person's over. Now, again, I have two people here. So I don't know if it's the... If it's a past person coming back in that you don't want to see, because now you may see them as defeated though. This may not be what they've done to you. This could be how they are feeling, because this is how you view them. So you view them as, you know, hurt. How do they view you though? Nine of Wands, also hurt. Okay, so whatever this situation was, it's taken a lot out of you. There may be an ex involved, possibly. All right. So you see this person as hurt, as been just like, worked over, tired, either by someone else or the job or whatever, and they see you as kind of the same energy but hanging in there, not quite as bad as them. Uh, maybe they were with an ex. They were with some, they were, okay, something happened to this person with the Ten of Swords. And maybe there was a lesson they needed to learn or karma, karma or something, but whatever they were dealing with, it did not work out. It could be a really bad job. It could be overworking. We got Capricorn and Scorpio energy here, but this situation that this person was dealing with, it's over. What is the Nine of Wands? This is how they view you. So they see you as moving on. So either they see you moving on to new love or they know that you are the one they love and they want to tell you that, Pisces. I feel like they... I think they realize now how much they do love you, but what is the outcome of this situation for you, Pisces? Knight of Cups, yeah. So they have a lot of love for you. They want to tell you this or communicate or talk to you or, you know, show you that they love you. I don't know if it's too little, too late. Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Magician, and the Page of Coins. So again, this person may have had a lot of money and lost money, though, also with King of Coins Tower, because it is showing me possibly a earth sign. But they have, yeah, they may have spent a lot of it or something like that or invested it and it didn't come through. Or they may invest in like property or um, businesses. It may not be that they lost it like gambling or anything. It could just be that they had, you know, they took a risk on a company or something and it just didn't happen. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be like an ex or third person or something. It was something that took up a lot of their time. It was a passion. 
Um, it didn't work out and they just feel really defeated by the situation. And maybe they wanted to move somewhere else like and build, I'm getting like a big shopping center, build something, but it just, you know, it didn't pan out. Maybe because of the pandemic and things, it just was not meant to be. Maybe they wanted to do this to impress you or, you know, to build a better life for the two of you. But however this is working out, they are definitely coming back. This is how you do see them defeated in some sense. But I feel like they really wanted to, for some of you, just really kind of impress you. Now, others of you, I'm sure there was other things going on. Nine of Cups can be overindulgence and things like that. But what is the Eight of Swords? Because I feel like they've been they've been stuck thinking about you. I also get someone stuck at an airport. I'm not sure why that showed up really quickly. For some of you, this person may have tried to move on to somebody new or try to, you know, get you out of their brain or mind and they just couldn't is what I'm saying. They just could not let go of like the two of you being together. They couldn't. I think they're seeing that, that this constant thinking about you, wondering how you're doing, even when they're doing other, you know, businesses or working or with people like you're always on their mind. And I feel like they have to figure this out. Like, like why? Why do their thoughts always come back to you? Why is it that you're always the one on their mind before they go to bed or when they wake up first thing in the morning? What is the page of coin? What do they want to tell you? Something here to do with like wanting to put the past in the past. It may have been lies. It may have been some deception or some cheating or whatever that is with the seven of swords. They may have even gotten um, fooled by somebody else. It's kind of what I'm getting also. They may have gotten into a really bad situation where they were taken advantage of. And again, this doesn't have to be a love situation. I mean, of course, it probably is, and it could be an ex or somebody else. But it could also be, you know, a business gone bad or anything like that. Because I'm feeling like this person got in over their head in some situation. They just, they just weren't really smart enough, or they didn't see the red flags, or they didn't pay attention for whatever reason. And now... They want to come back and rebuild with you, but they may be worried that you have moved on to someone else. They're hoping that you still have feelings for them, but let me go back up to the Eight of Wands and see what else we can see about this person. Yeah, they're they're not sure if you're going to take their cup, so they're not naive in that sense. It could be, again, an earth sign wanting a new beginning with you. Because this is where I'm seeing the love, like the love. Like, like when they lay down to go to bed, they look at your picture. They think of you. They can't get you out of their mind. I think you even show up in their dreams. So I feel like this person wants to shed the past and kind of like wants to forgive and forget and move forward with you. I'm also getting they may want to build a new home on some... This, for someone, this person is definitely a con contractor or they're in construction. They do, they do build. They do build buildings and they may have gotten greedy. I'll be honest with you, a devil. And maybe it was a karmic lesson for them to you know see how they were interacting in this business deal or something also they know that you're you make them happy so they may be coming back with you know nothing but the shirt on their back let's just say they could be coming back with you know a lot less money something major has changed but they still have the passion for you and the love but they are running back to you very quickly but again they're not naive in the fact that you may not be taking their cup because again like i because i have two kings showing up over and over you could already be dating someone else that maybe with ace of cups is here for you you may already be dating a, an earth sign and this fire sign is the one coming back and they're not um they're going to take a chance i feel and tell you how they're feeling and even if it makes them look you know vulnerable or you know they feel like they may look stupid they're still going to take the chance here and at least at least drop you a note drop drop a message something i am going to go to a different deck and clarify the ace of cups because and this person feels very defeated. They are still hanging on to the thoughts of you. Definitely probably looking um, online with the four of coins. I kind of feel like that's kind of another, a little bit of a stalker card. But sometimes four of coins, he's more pouting than anything. What is Ace of Cups for you? Because again, this is how they view you. So they may want to start over with you. Brand new cup with you. But I want to see if this is new love also though for you. Because by mid-August, you may have somebody new interested in you. Ace of Cups. Okay. Lovers, the no, Ten of Cups. Now, this person really wants to rebuild with you. If you're not married, they may want to get married. Yeah, they may want to have a big ceremony. I'm getting for some of you, this person did not want to get married in the past, or you guys may have talked about it, but maybe you didn't want to spend, they didn't want to spend a lot of money. And um, now I feel like they want to give you what you want. They want to make you happy. I'm getting like, 
you know, looking beautiful on that day, on that day. They also could have been someone who was telling them, you know, bad things about you, who was talking very negatively about you. And they just, I feel like they're definitely getting rid of that person. Like this person doesn't believe in love. If they're listening to somebody else, I feel like that person is like cynical. They don't believe in love. They've been hurt so many times that they were trying to influence this person not to be with you, not to talk to you. Like, oh, there's no su such thing as being really happy. But let me see. Let me see. Oh, I'm not going to extend this one. I kind of feel like I want to see what this person feels about you. But let me just do a little bit right here. Yeah, let me pull. Let me pull a couple cards from this deck. Keep an open mind. Um, I, that's how I kind of feel because I do feel like the cards are showing quite a big change in this person. Like they've been through quite a quite a lot with the Ten of Swords, the Devil, and Death. That maybe there is for a lot of you a huge change in this person's perspective and how they think and feel now. They may have not believed in again like love and marriage and kids and family and all that. It was always about them, their business, their money. But huge change. One more, please. Flirt. Yeah. Extend your lighthearted energy to this person. I think they're going to flirt with you. I think it's kind of like a lot of, I feel like a renewal, like it's kind of happy and giddy and, and like sometimes when you've been through so much pain and hurt and whatever, now you kind of feel like it's, you're lighter on the other side. Hence the fool. It's going to be like the flirt card is kind of getting, wanting to forget the past and wanting just to have fun because life is short. You know what I mean? Okay. How does this person feel about you? What do they want to do? Five of Cups, they are missing you and they are regretting the past. They are heartbroken over the situation. They want to come back with the Six of Cups and have a victory with you. Yeah, Three of Wands, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands. So again, communication on the horizon. Person has been through a major tower moment, with it, but again, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Page of Swords watching you, wanting to come in quickly. So it's, and they're worried though, because I feel like they have to find that exact moment or they think they have to figure out the exact moment when to talk to you because they could really blow it. They could come in with a lot of passion. I feel like they're going to get dressed up, put on their best clothes, smell good, look good, try to imp like impress you if they can. Are they going to put effort? I'm getting they're going to put effort into the presentation when they talk to you, when they, you know, want to see you. Hierophant and the moon and the sun. Yeah. They've been through a lot. This person has a lot more clarity now. And some of the illusions or delusions or whatever this is of the moon, fears of marriage, fears of relationships are now gone because the sun is here. So it's kind of illuminating. I'm definitely getting that maybe this person may, if you want kids, um, like I feel like this person has done a 180 for a lot of you. Like they really see things differently now. They really see like there's um, there's um, like what's important, you know, love and friends and family and, you know, people. I get there was maybe a business or something. I get like a lot of air pollution with this car or something. And again, something was destroyed or taken down. Again, it could have been a building or business so that this could come back together. This could be rebuilt or something like that. I'm getting moving from like the dirty city to the country, something where there's, the air is better. The kids can have, you know, fresh air. So I know that won't apply to a lot of you, but I am seeing that. So, all right. So Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Have a really good week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.